Charlene and Lyles. I mentioned this last night briefly. Uh, but we have a lot, uh, a great deal more detail uh, into the killing of Charlene and Lyles, um, a 30-year-old uh, pregnant woman, several months pregnant. Uh, she, according to her family, only weighed about 90 pounds. Um, and so being about four months pregnant, I believe, and weighing 90 pounds, um, the officers who shot and killed her, this is a picture of her, the officers who shot and killed her had to have known she was pregnant. There's no way that she is that small and that far along in her pregnancy and the officers could not tell. The officers also knew that Charlene had dealt with mental health issues. They knew that and the way we know that is because of this first clip. You can hear them laughing about the fact that she had mental issues. Let's take a listen. In. I've been out here for another TV with a son. I don't know if you were here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this gal, she was the one making all these weird statements about how her and our daughter are going to turn into wolves. And this was on the 5th. She like, just took a turn, so. I'm like, eh. <laughs> I'm going to go up there. Because they said she was fine at first, and then they were inside with her. So there they are. There they are joking about the fact that they know her and they've been there before. And when they came before, they realized that she was saying very strange statements about uh, she and her son turning into wolves. And then they laughed about it. So they're fully aware of there's some mental health issues going on there. And her family confirmed that she's dealing with some mental health issues. Um, so what happened in this case is that uh, she called in. Uh, she believed that there was a burglary. She believed that some things had been stolen. So she called the police. And uh, there's some good reporting by uh, my colleague at the progressive army dot com, Andre Roberge. Um, and he pointed out that usually one officer is sent to respond to reports of a burglary. Um, but because of a flag on Lyle's case due to an incident in the previous week uh, that involved a weapon, caused the Seattle Police Department to send two officers. So they had already went um, apprehensively to respond to her call. Now, rem remember, the incident the previous week could very well be the incident that the officers are laughing about here where she had a large set of scissors and she started saying in stuff about turning into wolves, clearly demonstrating that she was mentally ill and that they were going into a similar situation with a pregnant woman, four months pregnant, 90 pounds. So they get there and they begin asking her about, um, about what was stolen and you could hear, um, we'll play the next clip, it's, it's viewed from the dash cam uh, that's where the audio was patched into, but you could hear them asking her about the burglary, what was taken. I think she mentioned an, an Xbox or something that she believed was stolen. And then very quickly, it escalates from asking about the burglary to them killing her. Let's take a listen in. Now, actually, do we still have the other video where they're in the door, in the hallway? Do we still have that in the system? Because he, here's the thing. The police officers were there to respond to her call about a burglary that she was concerned about. And she, they knew she was mentally ill or dealing with some mental health issues. And they also knew that previously she had a large set of scissors um, and that's why they sent two officers. They're yelling for her to get back, but they are in her residence and they're in the doorway. I'm going to show you this clip and we actually we just play it now. They're in the hallway. They're in the doorway. They had full ability for themselves to get the hell back. 
If anyone could have gotten back, they could have. If they were so afraid of a 90 pound, four month pregnant woman armed with a set of scissors, and this is the right there, as you can see, that's where they, they could have taken two or three steps back themselves. It's not like she had a weapon that she could have shot at them. But instead, they felt so threatened by a 90 pound, four month pregnant woman that they killed her. What good are these officers gonna be when they're faced with real threats? Right. If, if, if they can't handle if they can't handle these types of uh, how many times I'm all over the place and, and, and probably rightfully so. How many times have people that have dealt dealing have a problem with mental health issues? How many times have they ended up dead when the police are called? How many times have police officers use a response, a, a level of force in response to a situation that could have been de-escalated by them just walking the hell back. I'm reminded of the clip of the, uh, of the officer, I believe, in, in the UK. If it was not the UK, I'd be surprised if it was here in the United States, who literally was being uh, chased down by a man with a damn machete, and he backed up and backed up and backed up and backed up all the way to the point where he backed and fell down on the ground and still did not shoot this man. Man coming at lunging at him with a machete still did not kill him. But the first reaction for these police officers in the incident with Philando Castile and in the incident with Charlene Miles, Charlena Lyles is to shoot and kill.